Like stock management. It's like trying to catch an eel. Like mm. you can barely see it most of the time. And then you, you think you spotted it and you try and grab it and you do, but it slips right out of your hand. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, yeah, the, your eel metaphor doesn't work because there's also, if you try to catch the eel too hard, you go out of business. Okay. Can, can I ask you a question? Mm. Have you had really vivid dreams? Some, yeah. Hmm. But I have heard this from a lot of friends are having what I would describe as COVID dreams. I'm outside and I'm freaking out, right? Like I've, I've been hearing a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Like it's, I, I don't know what the deal is. If, if anything, if I had to predict, do you anticipate that the intensity and vividness of your dreams will increase or decrease in that environment? I would have bet a lot of money on decrease. Yeah. Like, oh, this is nothing. This is super boring, but I've had enough of this. <laughs> I think it's one of the things that like, it's like, well, you have no stimulus, so they would be boring. But actually, yeah. it's the inverse. You have no stimulus, so your brain's like, oh, what can I cook up? I am bored. <laughs> <laughs> I also bought like 10 of these massive sunshine LED lamps to place all around the office so it's like really bright inside which is very nice <laughs> your office is not that big it must be like the surface of the sun in there <laughs> well, but you know mike i have these massive sound absorbing panels that i build my little recording studio oh they're around. like it's like looking into the abyss those things yes yeah those okay. those things are venti black you know perfect light absorbing stuff so, yeah. so you need the power of several tiny suns to to overcome them You're the professor of podcasting. 